Hello there, how, how's it going everybody? This is Jessie from Jessie and Marie Stuff here on Flosstube and I am here with my update. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 11th, 2016. We are just about halfway into uh, Stitch Mania and I am actually one third now officially just over one third into uh, my new starts for this month so very exciting there um i have a lot to talk about i've been so excited about doing this video um i almost recorded it yesterday but um i thought no i'm gonna wait until wednesday um i'm just gonna i'm gonna try to stick to a schedule here and do this on wednesdays so i held off for a day um, I probably should have recorded it yesterday because it was a little bit brighter yesterday. I don't want to say it was sunny. It hasn't been sunny since April. Um, and that's not really an exaggeration. It was a little bit sunny on, on Mother's Day, but for the most part it's been rainy. Um, but today it's particularly gray and dark. Um, so finding the, the right spot for the light um, has been, it's been interesting, shall we say. Um, so I have, like I said, I have a lot to talk about. Um, I have my work in progress that um, that I've worked on. In addition to a week's worth of new starts, one of those days included two days worth. Um, and then I have my whips for the, up, or excuse me, my new starts for the upcoming week and the very smallest amount of haul, mostly digital. Um, so let's get started. First of all, and uh, Corey, I'm sorry, but I'm going to apologize again. Um, Corey had mentioned that I have a tendency of apologizing, uh, particularly in one of my more recent videos. I spent the first 10 minutes apologizing. Um, but I am going to do that here again today because in my video last week, I, I will admit something to you guys. I was not on my game last Wednesday when I did, when I uh, recorded. Um, I, I think that the issues with, um, with the lighting, when it was storming and then it got sunny and then it was storming again, having to start over, um, I was just not saying what I wanted to last week. And in particular, at one point last week, I said that I implied that if you weren't doing 15 brand new starts in the first 15 days of May, son, somehow you were cheating on Stitch Mania. And I just want to apologize for that because that's not what I meant. I meant to say I found an alternative way to make it work. Um, I love how everybody's doing this their own way. Um, I love that everybody is finding a different way to, to make Mania happen. Um, and more than anything, I love that people are sharing it on, on the Facebook group and on YouTube. I, I mentioned this before. I love that Mania is sort of, it's almost forcing people to come out of their shells and start recording videos or they're posting on Facebook, whereas they used to really just lurk. Um, I, I love Mania. I love Mania not just for my new starts, but for everybody that's participating. I think it's it's like one of the most uniting events that I have seen in stitching. I mean, it's it's truly remarkable. So, um, to to anybody who um, who felt offended or felt like I was um, bashing, I'm so sorry. I did not mean that. Um, I so I'm sorry. Um, I'm glad that everybody's finding their own way to make Mania work. Um, people who are terrified out of their skin for having this many new starts are finding their own way to make it happen. And, you know, that's that's awesome. So, yeah. So I just wanted to start off with that. Yay, Mania. Yay, everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I have one work in progress and I use the quotes because it's one of my, my, uh, stitch alongs. Um, and that was the only whip that I have worked on since we last spoke. So let me go ahead and pull that out. 
Uh, this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Pumpkin Passport. And for May, we were um, in coastal Greece. And I finally finished this block. It took so long. I don't even don't even understand why, but it did. It took a long time. So there is the May block all finished up. And here's the whole piece. And I, you know, looking at it like this, that block really stands out. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels like that, but I just feel like it's more pronounced, more forward than the rest of the blocks. Maybe it's because the architecture is up close. I don't fully understand the mule, the donkey. I guess it's a donkey. Everybody's calling it a donkey. I don't fully understand that. Um, but I like the black nonetheless. I think it looks really cute. And while I don't understand the donkey in this particular setting, he's adorable. Isn't he cute? I love little Joey. I've named him Joey. I don't know why. So there's that. Um, I think that I finished this block on Saturday. Yeah, it was Saturday. Um, and that's an exorbitant amount of time. <laughs> it took way too long to finish this block, but got it done. It's okay. So there's that. And this will go away until June 1st when we will get block six. And uh, the June block will take up this amount of space. How do I know? Because the top half is the first half of the year. The bottom half is the last half of the year. So there's that. And that will go away. The fabric that I'm using, by the way, um, if you haven't been to my channel before, uh, this is 32 Count Properly Primitive from Under the Sea Fabrics. Okay, okay. And that's it for whips. Um, on Saturday, I never got to work on my dove. Um, I just never pulled it out to work on it. Um, after I finished that, then I got on my new start for the day. So my hands are washed of it. Um, hopefully this Saturday I will pick that up. However, got some things going on this Saturday, so we'll see. Okay. So let's get into last week of Mania. Um, now, my the projects that I'm going to show you are Wednesday through today. Um, because when we spoke last week, when I spoke, I guess, um, I hadn't quite made the start on my piece because I had just received the fabric. So obviously now I've started it, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. So last Wednesday, May the 4th, was the Star Wars Stitch Along for May the 4th Be With You. And I am stitching a BB-8. This is by Leia Patterns on Etsy. You'll be seeing a preview image of it here. And I am stitching this on a 32 count tarnish Belfast. This is hand dyed by a picture of this plus. And this is where I got to. Doesn't look like much. It's round, there's white and yellow. <laughs> And a little bit of gray. So not a whole lot of progress on this one. Um, but I like it. I like it so much better than that. Than the fabric that I was originally trying to use. So there we have it. And I will get back to this at some point. I really, really like this fabric. I think that BB-8 is going to stand out really nicely against it. So, there is that. Okay, next on May the 5th was my first day of two starts. So the first of which was um, Heaven and Earth Designs Faces of Fairy 201, aka Black Swan. And I've pretty standardly been devoting about an hour or so to each of these starts. So you can imagine that on a Heaven and Earth design in an hour, I didn't get a whole lot done. And I didn't. 
So it looks like I got, if not the whole block, nope, I got the whole first block done, and then I carried some of the colors downwards of column number one, top corner. And this one is little, little. She is nine by nine square, so. I gotta tell you, it was hard to put this down because I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to get some more worked on her, but because it was a two-start day, I felt, I felt like I had to, to move on. Um, the fabric that we've got here is a 25 count antique white Lugana, which is my Heaven and Earth Design standard. Okay. And then, after I got her started, I got to work on my, excuse me, my eyes are itching a little bit. Um, I got to work on my second start. My second start is a Sugar Skull Darth Vader, and it is by Stitch Line on Etsy. You'll be seeing a preview of that here. I can never get the directions right, but it's over here. Um, and... This is a project that was, of course, inspired by Brittany from Blimey Cat Stitches. And um, this is also for the Return of the Fifth slash Return of or Revenge of the Fifth. I've seen it called both things. Um, I am stitching this on a 32 count smoky stormy clouds. And this is a fabric by Zweigart with a hand-dyed look to it, and obviously I got to start on it. So this one I gave, I definitely gave a little bit more than an hour to, um, just because I'm really, I like it a lot, um, but this is down the one side of his helmet. So there's that. This fabric is fantastic. Um, I don't know it's a little bit different than like an undyed, go figure, than an undyed Zweigart fabric. It's a little bit stiffer, but I love it. Then it was good to work on. So this one will definitely be making another appearance here before too long. I'm always itchy somewhere. Okay, so there's that. And I am stitching this in um, a DMC 37.99 which is the deep gray. Going through this is kind of fun because like, while I kind of had a general idea of when I started these, it's kind of like, what's the next one that I'm gonna talk about? Okay, this was on Friday, May 6th. Yes, Friday, May 6th. And this was my first magazine design. You'll be seeing a preview of it here. Um, this is Cross Stitch Lever and it is by Ursula Michael Designs. This is from, I believe, let's see, does my note card in here talk about it? Yeah, uh, just Cross Stitch January, February 2016. And I got a pretty decent start on it. Another one that was really hard to put down. Of course, like they all are. This one um, has gotten some changes to it. So that's where I'm at. And um, I assure you guys, it's actually stitched on there. It's not like I just, you know, laid some red thread there. It's, it is actual black work, back stitch, whatever you want to call it. So um, first of all, a couple of things. All of the colors I am subbing out for Week Style Works. Um, and the one in particular here, I'm using Week Style Works Cayenne. The needle, if you can see it there, it's in a gold metallic. That is Petite Treasure Braid by Rainbow Gallery number 37. Um, I thought that it would be cool to stitch the needle in a metallic using a metallic needle. Um, and then there's also a pair of stork scissors pictured. And I think that I'm going to use probably Petite Treasure Braid 01 for that. 
if not, um, I have I have a couple of other gold petite treasure braids that I'm gonna give a try. There was um, I have a pair, or excuse me, I have a card of I don't remember the number, but it's a very yellow petite treasure braid. But it it almost completely disappears on this fabric. The fabric is a 32 count cream Belfast linen from Zweigart. Um, and this pale yellow is really, it's very pale. So it disappeared. Um, so I'm going to try something a little bit deeper to put in some sparkly stork scissors because I use storks. So that's that. This, um, <laughs> it's so funny. Every time, every morning, uh, my fiance asks me, okay, so what's your new start for the day? And I tell him and he's like, are you going to finish it? I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm not going to finish it today. It's not the point. I mean, I guess eventually it's the point, but to, for me, for Mania, I don't want to finish anything in the same day that I started. I don't know. Maybe it's a little weird, but um, this I could have finished in one day because I just wanted to keep going on it. But I didn't. I was a good stitcher, good maniac, and I put it down. Okay. Next Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, May the 7th, I started my Birds of the Month by Stony Creek. This is the May Eastern Bluebird. Very pretty. I didn't get a start on this until very late because I was finishing up the uh, the pumpkin passport block. But I got my, my hour on it, hour or so. And, sorry, I got a text message that just came in. This is where I got to. This piece of fabric is so tiny. It's like the smallest piece of fabric that I've, I've used in a long time. Um, so what you see here is some of the leaf work. Uh, there's a flower that's going in here. And then these are some of the feathers on the bluebird. This fabric is a 28 count fog cashel. I believe it's a picture of this plus. Let me pull that back out so I can point out to you where I was, um, what I'm talking about. So you see the, the white feathers there. That's what I'm working on. And then this is the start of the flower that I've made and the leaf work around it. So there's that. Another one where if I had stuck with it, I probably could have finished it because it's such a, such a quick little thing. I mean, you know, it would have taken a few hours, but it's a quick one. Okay, next, Sunday, May 8th, Mother's Day. Uh, first of all, before I talk about my start, happy belated Mother's Day to all of those uh, mamas of human, furry, and feathered children. We had a crazy, crazy Mother's Day. Um, we started off by going to Northern Virginia to surprise my mom for Mother's Day, and we took her out to breakfast, and then came back to our area to celebrate Mother's Day with my fiance's mom and got home about 4.30 in the afternoon. So it was like, it was a long day. Uh, we left our house at like 6.30 that morning. Anyway, my new start for the day was a Christmas letter, my next Mill Hill kit. And once again, loving this. Okay. So this is where I got to. Very simple little little start. But basically, my goal was to get this red block finished. And then I had to put in some of the green and you may not be able to see it, but there's some of the cream that I worked in up here. Um, just for some interest. But my goal was to get that 100 stitch block of red done. So, goal accomplished. Again, really quick. If I had worked on it all day, probably would have finished it. But I did not. And then... Um, I don't know if I showed this to you guys. 
But you see on the bottom there, there's that little jewel pendant. Oh gosh, you cannot see that. I don't know why I'm going through all this, but look, it's a jewel pendant. Okay, that was fun. Okay, I'm going to set that aside because that takes some engineering to get back. Okay, Monday, May 9th, um, I got to my next Etsy start, and this was... This was pretty fantastic. So, okay, a couple of things. Um, first of all, the design is by Dona Stitch, and it is Beauty and the Beast. And originally I had planned on doing this on the uh, Lamb's Wool Jubilin. It's a 28 count Lamb's Wool Jubilin. Uh, too small. The fabric was too small. Um, because on 14 count or 28 count two over two, this design is 16 by 18 inches. And that fabric is 18 inches wide, so I would have had a whopping one inch of margin. That's not, that's not enough. So I decided to go with another fabric. So the fabric that I went with is 32 count cream Belfast linen from Zweigart. Because I should read it in my channel. 32 count cream Belfast linen from Zweigart. That should be my channel name. Anyway. This one got a lot of work on its day, and the reason is I am participating in a readathon. This is not a 24-hour readathon; it's a full week, um, and my goal is to read over 900 pages this week. I've worked it out to about 130 pages, but I'd really like to reach 150 pages every day. So the book that I was reading at the time, um, it's actually it was a reread, and it was an audiobook. And um, Cher Burkett was actually just talking about this. I was watching her video this morning. Um, she was talking about A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. I read this book back in November, but in anticipation for the sequel that just came out on Tuesday, May 3rd, um, I wanted to reread the first book. Now, the reason that I'm going through all of this story is that this first book at least and I don't know about the second book but the first book is a um, it's a partial pseudo retelling of Beauty and the Beast so but it's um, I just want to forewarn parents it is not a Beauty and the Beast for children um, it is classified as a new adult um, in that the main characters are around the age of um, 19 to 22, so college age, basically. Uh, so you can imagine. Um, anyway, so I'm listening to this audiobook that's very Beauty and the Beast-esque, and I'm stitching Beauty and the Beast. I was just like, I should have Beauty and the Beast music playing or something. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I gave this one a little bit extra time because of that. And this is what I got done. Because this is 32 count, I have about an inch and a half of margin to two inches. So that's, I'm more comfortable with that. And what you see here is the rows. So I started at the topmost portion and I am in this region here. This region right here, I can't ever seem to get that right. So, there we have it. Love this. It's un... It was totally unexpected. I knew I was going to like this because Beauty and the Beast is one of my absolute favorites um, to begin with. But, I don't know. It's, I think it's, I mean, it's large blocks of color, but... You still have to pay attention because they're shifting blocks. It's not like a square of one color. It's shapes and I don't know. I don't know, but it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to get back to this. I am, I'm currently, as of today, at 45 
yes, 45 total whips. And I'm trying to figure out what my rotation is going to be moving forward. Contemplating a project today or something adapted of that, trying to play with that idea. Um, some of these I want to get back to so much that I'm, I'm going to have to figure something out. So anyway, next, um, yesterday, Tuesday, May 10th, 2016, was a freebie design. I am going to link to this one because uh, I don't have a preview image of it. I just have the chart, and this is by the Cottage Garden Samplings. It is their Halloween freebie, and I am stitching this on a, I believe it's a 28 count, yes, 28 count Murky Lugana. This is hand dyed by Picture This Plus. I got this out of the clearance bin, so to speak, from 123 Stitch, and here's where I got to. Oh, look at, ain't he cute, my little jack-o'-lantern with his candy canes, or candy corns rather. I love this. I didn't get to any of the wording, which I kind of wanted to do, but to be honest, all I have left is the border. Um, there's a bat up here, and then it says Halloween across it. So like really, not a whole lot of work left to do. Just two colors left, in fact, black and more of the orange. And the only reason that I stopped stitching, because I probably would have kept going, the only reason that I stopped is because I ran out of the orange in the, in the uh, length that I had originally cut. So, really, really fast stitch. Um, yeah, really liking it. Uh, one thing that I did do is I backstitched the eyes and mouth of Buddy Jack here because black coverage... 28 count. I could have done three strands, but loop method. <laughs> um, so I just backstitched it so that it wouldn't show through the fabric so much. So there's that. Okay, now we get to today. <laughs> today, I cannot win. I shouldn't say that. I have won now, but when I first got today started, I was stressed out. So my plan start for today, and I was super, super excited for this. My plan start was Mirabilia's Damask Roses, which is Mirabilia design number one. I'm going to take a quick sip. Okay. So just going to show you her real quick. Damask Roses. And I had planned to start her on ale. This is a 28 count cashel, fat quarter of ale. Right? No. Um, so essentially, I couldn't do this project because she's large. Um, her stitch count is 237 by 296, which works out to 16 and 7 eighths by something or other design size um, on 28 count. And so that was going to leave me with an inch of margin if this was 18 inches. It's actually not. It's 17 inches in width. So I would have had 1 8 inch total for the horizontal margins. So yeah, obviously this isn't this isn't gonna work. Uh, this cannot be my project for today because this it's not gonna fit on this fabric, and I don't have another neutral that she would look good on, big enough or the right count. So I thought, all right, this is a sign. I am not gonna do damask roses. Let me have a look here and see what else I've got that I could potentially start. So I was like, I picked three. I have. Um, Elizabeth, um, I have the Queen Mermaid, and Snow Queen, which with, excuse me, and they essentially had their fabrics attached, so I could do Elizabeth on Ale, I could do Queen Mermaid on As You Wish by Under the Sea Fabrics, and I could do Snow Queen on Darkness Falls Opalescent by Under the Sea Fabrics. So I had 
options. So I went to Danny and I said, all right, pick for me because my original plan isn't going to work. Which one do I do? And he had picked Elizabeth. And I thought, okay, perfect. That's great. So I'm trying to think here. She is 212 by 277. And I was going to stitch her on this ale as well. And on 28 count, I think I would have had less than an inch um, on, on the width margins again. So I was feeling like a failure because I was like, okay, fine, I'll make this work and then can't. Um, essentially, I need, really, I need for these, for both of these, I need a fabric that's at least 20 inches in width. And so I'll just have to buy a bigger piece of fabric and it'll be fine. So, again, I will take the sign. It's okay. So, I started today the Queen Mermaid. And the chart is over there in my stitching chair, so I don't have the uh, what design number she is or what her stitch count is, but basically, she fits on her fabric. So I am, I'm going to stitch on this some more um, after we finish here today because basically I stitched for about a half an hour and then got ready to record here just so that I had the bare bones of a start before um, I started recording. So anyway, this is what I've gotten done so far. So we're talking in here. Just that little bit of green stitching. Two colors of green there accomplished and we'll just keep going now this fabric is gorgeous and it's so good for her so i'm really i'm really pleased with it now uh, those two needle minders are from gina's unique boutique and as i said the fabric is as you wish by under the sea fabrics which was fabric of the month for april so there's that. So I will get some more work on this and then next week I will update you guys just so you can see how much more I got done today. Okay, safely, gently set her there. Okay, there we go. So those were my new starts for the last week-ish. Okay, so then let's get to next week. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up my, make sure we're going in order here. Oh, 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 we're flipping. Flipping. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, so first things first, uh, tomorrow, uh, May the 12th, I am starting Graceful Reindeer by Marie Barber, and you'll be seeing a preview image of that here. And this is from Just Cross Stitch November, December 2015, not the ornament issue. And I am stitching that on Rosewood by Picture This Plus. It's way pinkier than that. It's pink all the way through. Um, this is a Belfast 32 count, 18 by 27, plenty large enough. I will be having no more fabric issues whatsoever for the rest of Mania. I hope. So there's that. And I haven't ordered any of the Krennix or beads for that, but that's okay because I'm not going to get to that point. Okay. Next, Friday, May 13th. Friday the 13th is another double start day. First start will be... The Flower of the Month from Stony Creek, Lily of the Valley. Nope, just kidding, Violet. Not Lily of the Valley. That's a Violet. And that will be going on this piece of 32 count platinum. Small 13 by 18 piece. I have some stitching to rip out of it because I had started something on that. But that's okay, that'll be quick. 
secondary to that piece on Friday the 13th, I will be starting Clouds Factory's horror movie alphabet. You'll be seeing a preview of that here. And I am starting that on 32 Count Lichen's Moon from Under the Sea Fabrics, aka Dried Blood. And the character that I'm going to be starting with, the irony of this is that with this design, now all of the characters are in order by alphabet. Hence, horror movie alphabet. So I will be starting with, in the center, uh, with Otis Driftwood, who is a character from House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, my fiancé really likes the Rob Zombie horror movies. Standing right next to Otis is one of my favorites, Pinhead, from the Hellraiser series. Um, so I just think, I think it's really cool that we've got Otis and Pinhead uh, standing right next to each other. I mean, O and P, of course, they're going to stand right next to each other, but nonetheless, very excited about that. Maybe I can try to get both of those characters done that day. That'd be cool, but we'll see. Okay, next, Saturday the 14th, so we go from horror movie alphabet, Pinhead, <laughs> House of a Thousand Corpses, to, oh, water, well, good thing it's just water. Like I said, we go from horror to Mary Moose <laughs> by Mill Hill. It's a little Mill Hill beaded kit. The next cutie I can't wait to start. Seriously, I love those Millhill kits. I'm going to have to get like a million more of them. Um, on Sunday, May 15th, I'll be starting by Pixel People, um, or Wee Little Stitches, the original Pixel People. You'll be seeing a preview image because I don't have one, and this is the Big Bang Theory. And I will be stitching this on a... 32 count dill Belfast linen. This is by Picture This Plus. All tied up in the selvage thread. You know, it's pretty accurate. It's a little bit more golden. It's not so green, but nonetheless. So there we have that. Next, on Monday, May 16th, is my next free design. You'll be seeing a preview of that here. This is the Chatelaine Easter Egg. This is the one called Another Easter Egg. I believe it's from 2009. Yeah, it's from 2009. And I'll be stitching that on 32 Count Cream Belfast Linen, if you can believe it. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. So there's that. Okay, then on Tuesday, May, losing track of dates here, 17th, I will be starting my Glendon Place Elizabeth. Uh, this is from the Baroque Beauties collection. And that's what she looks like. Gorgeous little flower. I say little. 133 by 198. Yeah, a little. And she will be stitched on. Oh, trapped. There we go. Uh, 32 count buttercup by Under the Sea Fabrics. A lovely soft buttery yellow. Buttercup the flower for Elizabeth the flower. Okay, and then next Wednesday, May the 18th, I will be starting Oriental Paper Lanterns. This is uh, by Marie Barber and it is from Just Cross Stitch July August of 2015. Preview image somewhere. And it's going on the same fabric as the Easter egg, so 32 count cream. Oh, fast linen. One thing that I noticed while I was looking at my mania plans is that in the beginning I had so many neutrals and as we progressed through the month 
things are getting much more hand-dyed, so very excited about that. Um, and then next Wednesday, obviously I'll come back and I'll show you my progress and the third section. And we'll just keep moving right along. So that's what I've got for upcoming projects. I'd really like to work on the Dove, like I said. And the Hade Challenge is kind of starting to whisper to me, so I might give that some attention to see if I can't knock that challenge out, but we'll see. The only thing that I have left to talk about here is some retail therapy. So um, a couple of things. I have three charts from Heaven and Earth Designs that I've gotten within the last few weeks that I haven't shown you, and so once I'm finished talking here, there will be a short slideshow of those three. Um, and then, as far as other haul is concerned, just a couple things. Um, a couple days ago, I got my summer 2016 cross stitch and needlework, and there's a couple of things that I like okay from this. Let me see if I can... I do like the cover design. The three three kiddos playing in the sand. Uh, this is by Joan Elliott. Huh. You know, it's funny. I was looking at the cover going, gosh, that looks like a Joan Elliott, but their faces don't. Lo and behold, it is a Joan Elliott. I also really like... This one is by Emma Congdon, uh, Happy Camper. Very pretty. Full, full coverage. Oh, this one I do like. Um, this is by Alyssa, 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 if you, for whatever reason you're watching this, uh, West Oak, West Hoek. Painted feathers, I think that's gorgeous. See that last name up top there? Yeah. Um, let's see if there's anything else in here. Nothing that's particularly standing out to me. Nope. But those three nonetheless, I do like those. So. Cross Stitch Summer 2016. And then I got a beautiful little package. And I say little, it's very little. This um, came from European Cross Stitch. This was a Christmas gift that I just got a hold of. Um, it was shipped to my mom, and so I had to pick it up from her, and every time I kept seeing her, I kept forgetting to ask for it. She forgot to keep giving it to me. So finally on Mother's Day I was like, hey, before I leave, before I forget. So this kit is, um, it's a little one. This is for Autumn Fairy, which was my New Year new start. And I'm just going to show you this real quick because there's only five threads and a little tiny pack of beads. So the first threads are, um, let's see, we have two skeins of Gloriana Florimel in copper, so a deep red. Next we have PB26 Treasure Braid. Look, another gold Treasure Braid. Like I said, I've got a lot of those. Okay. Next, we have three silken colors. This is camouflage in shades of green. And this is vintage violets. This is one of my favorites. I love that. Gray and purples. And this is meadow grass. Very pastel -y. greens and yellows, and there's even some very quiet shades of pink in there. Okay. And then this happy little bead pack. And I'm not going to go through each of these. 
but there's some good bright vibrant colors in there and then on the other side is the piece of ribbon with needles and you can see the little bicones in there and one heart oh wow a little teeny tiny thing this is the volcano heart that's called for gosh you can't see that through the plastic okay I'm gonna stop trying to show you that so yeah very very excited um, I'm gonna need to get back to my autumn fairy to uh, start using some of these threads because part one is done on on that one except for these specialty threads so I will have to get to that and that concludes my haul. Um, like I said, once I'm finished talking here, there will be a short slideshow of my new Heaven and Earth designs. And other than that, that's all I've got for you today. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good week. Bye-bye.